Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem on a short term hydrothermal scheduling using gamma and lambda iterations with the penalty factor. The problem that we are seeing here is a two plant system with a idle plant and thermal plant has the following characteristics the fuel cost characteristic of the thermal plant is ft is equal to 20 pgt plus 0 0.04 pgt square rupees per hour the water discharge characteristic of a hydro plant is q is equal to 7.5 pgh plus 0 0.04 pgh square meter cube per second the constant which converts incremental water discharge to incremental plant cost gamma this we discussed in our first video that uh, gamma is the constant which converts uh, incremental water discharge to incremental plant cost gamma is equal to 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 rupees per meter cube and lambda is equal to 70 rupees per megawatt hour and bgh is equal to 0 0.025 megawatt inverse determine the generation of each plant the load on the system and losses these things we are going to determine generation of each plant is nothing but pgh and pgt you should remember this the load is nothing but pd and the losses is nothing but p losses okay one two three and four parameters we are going to identify in this problem okay let's start the problem From the given from given we have BGH is equal to zero point zero zero two five megawatt inverse. BGH is nothing but uh, bhh this they had given and they haven't mentioned uh, btt and uh, bth we are going to consider btt is equal to bth which is equal to zero in this problem since they haven't mentioned the values of btt and bth we are going to consider it as zero and we know the cost function the losses the loss function p loss is equal to we know p loss is equal to btt pgt whole square plus 2bth pgtk and pghk plus bhh pghk whole square since they haven't mentioned the value of k and h we consider it uh, k is equal to 1 and uh, h is equal to 1 r therefore our solution becomes uh, simpler now since uh, btt and bth are zero first term and uh, second term tends to zero and we will be left with the p loss is equal to bh into pgh square the value of bh is uh, here the given they had mentioned zero point uh, 
zero zero two five into pgh square now we got uh, our first expression p loss is equal to zero point zero zero two five into pgh square still we haven't got the exact value of p loss after determining pgh we will get to know the value of p loss let's move on In the first video, we know in the previous expression, from this expression, the P loss by the PGT will be equal to. Zero. Do P loss by do P G T will be equal to zero, and uh, do P loss by do P G H will be equal to zero point zero zero five, and we need this uh, in our future platform. Again, from the given. From given data, the cost function F T is equal to twenty P G T plus zero point zero four P G T square. We know DFT by DPGT into one divided by one minus this is the expression with penalty factor. Here, whatever we are seeing within the bracket is the penalty factor, and as we derived uh, previously, do p loss by do p g t for this problem, do p loss by do p g t is zero. This term tends to zero, which means this whole term, whatever in the bracket, tends to one. Therefore, d f t by d p g t is equal to Lambda. And we know FT, DFT by DPGT means we need to differentiate this expression once with respect to PGT. Now we are going to differentiate it. We'll be left with twenty twenty PGT leads to twenty. Plus zero point zero four PGT square leads to zero point zero eight PGT is equal to lambda, which is nothing but seventy. The lambda is seventy in the given data. Now, on solving this, we'll be left with twenty. Uh, if we move to RHS, we'll be left with zero point zero eight PGT. Is equal to seventy minus twenty is fifty. PGT is equal to fifty divided by zero point zero eight, which leads to six twenty five megawatt. Now we got the value of PGT. Okay, and uh, we have few more given uh, parameters, and from that. Uh, From given data, water discharge Q is equal to seven point five pgh plus zero point zero 
zero four pgh square okay now we are going to differentiate this photo discharge with respect to pgh we will be having uh, dq divided by dpgh is equal to differentiating with respect to pgh we will be left with 7.5 second term 2 times 0 0.04 0 0.008 pgh okay from the expression with penalty effect we have a gamma into dq by dpgh into the penalty factor 1 divided by 1 minus dou p loss by dou pgh will be equal to lambda and from previous calculation dou p loss by dou pgh is 0 0.005 here we are having dou p loss by dou pgh is 0 0.005 remember that okay but um, before uh, substituting the values we need to make sure uh, whether the lhs and rhs units are same or not gamma the unit of gamma is uh, rupees per meter cube and the expression of uh, this is a uh, meter cube per second and this expression is 1 divided by megawatt and uh, lambda is uh, The unit of gamma is rupees per meter cube the unit for this one is meter cube per second and the unit of this is one divided by megawatt and the unit of lambda is rupees per megawatt let's see megawatt r let's see meter cube meter cube get cancels will be left with rupees per megawatt second will be left with rupees per megawatt second lhs is rupees per megawatt second and rhs is rupees per megawatt hour this is not matching up so in order to make uh, these two equal we need to multiply the lhs by 3600 means uh, we are converting seconds into hours for one hour we are having 3600 seconds so the same expression with 3600 on the lhs the value of gamma is uh, 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 and uh, dq by dpgh is 7.5 plus 0 0.008 pgh and the penalty factor is 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.005 pgh Do P loss by Do P G H as we derived Do P loss by Do P G H is point zero zero five P G H into three thousand six hundred. is equal to 
70 lambda value is 70 when resolving this we will be left with 11.07 plus 0 0.0 double one eight zero eight pgh that will be equal to 70 minus 0 0.35 pgh okay on resolving this will be having pgh is equal to 162 point eight seven megawatt the value of pgh is one sixty two point eight seven megawatt after getting the value of uh, pgh now we can identify p loss p loss is zero point zero zero two five pgh square therefore p loss is equal to 66.32 megawatt p loss is 66.32 megawatt and lastly the demand demand plus losses is equal to the sum of generation pgh and pgt now we need to find pd that means pgh minus plus pgt minus p loss pgh is 162.87 plus pgt is 625 megawatt minus losses is 66.32 megawatt therefore pd the total demand is 721.55 megawatt this is the solution for this problem and we remember we need to find a pgh pgt pd and p loss and here we are having pgh P loss PD and PGT PGT is 625 megawatt this problem appeared in uh, June July 2019 you can go through the question paper and you will find uh, helpful thank you